Cook knew what he was doing when he commissioned these to be made. Yeah, boy. And trust me, they are a technological wonder like this. I have the M2 MacBook Air here, and this thing is razor thin. Probably the thinnest laptop ever made at this point. The thing is tiny. Now, there are drawbacks to this thing. It only has three ports, of course. Y'all know the MagSafe port here and these two Thunderbolt ports right here. And that's the thing with MacBooks, unless you have the MacBook Pros, you tend to be wanting when it comes on to ports, as powerful as these things are. That's where this comes in. This Thunderbolt docking station here from Ivanki, the Fusion Dock Pro One Plus. This thing is lean and mean. This opens up the true potential of the MacBook gives you tons of ports and gives you so much power to work with. First off, thanks to Ivanki for sponsoring this video. And let's just check this thing out. You have a USB-C power delivery port here capable of about 20 watts of power. Another USB-C port here capable of 10 gigabits per second. There's an issue here, but I'll get to that shortly. Two USB 3.0 ports here capable of 10 gigabits per second a standard SD card slot and a micro SD card slot and of course your headphone jack and this is a very premium feeling actually power button to turn this thing on or off whenever you need it on the side here you have a lock you know if you want to use a Kensington lock or something and around back here you have the power port here the brick is absolutely monstrous <laughs> <laughs> guys, that thing is huge. It's like the size of this thing here. So you have two of these and actually makes up the bulk of the weight in the packaging. Right here you have a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port here, which actually makes this thing an upgrade from the previous iteration because they actually have a Fusion Dock Pro 1. So the plus is this. Next up are a couple more USB-A 3.0 ports capable of 10 gigabits per second and the standout feature of this thing are these three HDMI 2.0 ports here capable of delivering up to 4k 60 FPS imagine doing that with this little thing here and last but certainly not least is this this USB-C port here which is strictly for pushing the data from this girl here from the Thunderbolt port to this and what gives this thing its true life now this thing is pretty cool it's pretty straightforward this thing is designed for max and unless you have something like a max studio this thing is almost a must if you are a power user if you're not a power user however that's where this comes in which is what most people use a usb-c hub this is what i've actually been using since i got this thing first but most of them can't really go beyond 4K 30 FPS in terms of the HDMI port that they usually come with and they tend to not have anywhere near as much ports as this thing of course due to power limitations and of course for them to remain portable. However, if you're not so much a power user, I'm going to be linking a bunch of these that I highly recommend from premium brands such as Anchor and others in the description below so you guys can check them out. Now getting back to that issue that I mentioned earlier, these two ports here. Now I have a DJI Pocket 3 and when I film with it, I can't be bothered to be taking out that SD card. It's hard to get out and a bit finicky. So I tend to just plug it in directly with the USB-C cable. However, this port here somehow does not deliver enough power to transfer data to and from the Pocket 3. It's weird. It's not like the thing demands a lot of power. The thing is tiny as hell. So I have to actually plug it into the power delivery port which limits the use of this thing. I could have something like my phone or something charging through this and I'll have to plug it out to connect that to this to have enough power for data transfer. It's a bit annoying. Any other drive I connect, SSDs that, you know, whether or not they're Thunderbolt capable or not, once they're capable of the 10 gigabits per second, they work. Same with the USB-A ports, SD card ports work just fine. And everything just works i just plug it in and it works instantly now another quirk here to mention and this goes especially for m1 and m2 variants of the macbook is that they actually have to download 
a display driver from synaptics.com to get all three of these HDMI ports here to work at the same time. So if you're running with a dual or triple display setup, that is a must. However, for HDMI one is simply plug and play. I've tested it, I currently just have a LG C3 OLED TV working with as my main display and this thing powers right up. Now the brick is absolutely monstrous. I said that before, but I have to mention it again. It's the same size as this thing and that's because this thing actually sucks or is capable of sucking 100 watts of power. And that's really and truly just to allow you to use the maximum potential of this thing. I mean, it could have multiple drives. You could have a drive plug in each one of these holes here. This is what? six drives that you can plug in plus to push that 2.5 gigabit ethernet port here you know plus three displays that's a lot of power people so 100 watts is where it's at and this thing for the size the color it melts right into your setup this is definitely a bargain from ivanki however casual users need not apply now let's check out a simple demo of my setup and how I would use this thing so you guys can actually perceive how this would be useful to you. Alright people, this isn't exactly a desk tour but this is my usual setup. You have my mini Nook PC over there, my Mac Studio right there, my MacBook Air here of course and the Ivanki right there. I had it up here before but yeah it was a bit weird especially when I had to connect other drives to it this isn't the usual setup of course i wouldn't have these cables dangling all over the place but just to show you guys an example of how i would use this now i currently have about three drives there connected to the studio but here connected to my macbook air here via the thunderbolt port is the ivanki and i currently have a micro sd card a regular size sd card and of course this is a Thunderbolt capable SSD enclosure. However, this USB-C port here is only capable of 10 gigabits per second. And of course, a mechanical drive here connected to the USB 3.0 port here, capable of 10 gigabits per second as well. Now, this is a true power hub setup here, especially for the little MacBook Air here. This is the M2 model, which is now the base standard. And it really turns it into a true powerhouse here here is my connected display i only have one now people but it's fairly expensive <laughs> it's the lg c3 oled tv arguably a better display than the retina display here on the macbook air and i currently have up a brand new project here in davinci resolve as you can see the background here is mirrored really but this is a dual display setup for me you can connect up to three displays on the ivanki I actually know that I have that. I may explore that later on. Imagine being sandwiched by three of these things. It would be heaven indeed. But for now, this is it. Very useful. Come home from school. Just plug this thing in and I can just continue where I left off on the big screen with all of my drives connected. As you can see, they're right there on the Mac. You have the four storage devices here, right there. And it's pretty easy and simple to get in. You open up one, one is here, the other one is up there on the big screen. And yeah, this is pretty awesome, people. Very useful. It really and truly opens up your productivity. So that's where this thing really and truly comes in clutch. If you want to be more portable, you have these, as I said before, the cheaper and far more portable and far less power hungry, yet less useful. USB-C hubs. There are a plethora of them out there. I'm going to link the ones that I highly recommend in the description below along with the iBanky Fusion Pro One Plus. This thing is a beast of a device. If you need something even bigger than this, you have the bigger brother, which I'll link in the description as well. But this thing is all that most people will need. As a matter of fact, most people only need this. But if you're a true power host, a true power user like myself, this will take care of everything pretty much. My only wish is that I wish it had more Thunderbolt ports on it, but that's what the big brother is for. They both serve their needs. And with the upgraded 2.5 gigabits ethernet port on the Ivanki there, I'll be getting full throughput of my internet onto my MacBook Air here. So very awesome people, very useful. Check it out guys. 
Of course, thanks again for tuning in and thank you Ivanki for sponsoring this video. This is a beast of a device, very low profile. I love how it fits in with the setup, especially with the color, you can't really notice it all that much. But yeah, people, that's it. Thanks again for tuning in. If you don't know, I'll appreciate a like, subscribe, and of course, hitting that little notification bell so you know when the next video is out. See you guys in the next one. Peace out and take care.